Give me a bottle of Sprite. And I learned it for eight months. Now I want to venture into the business. And uh, I want to do it in a very big way. Going to Lagos, getting the shoes and bags, good quality. <sighs> but there is something I want to tell you. I secured a loan from the bank. 6.8 million naira. Baby. I love. How do you secure such huge amount of money? From the bank? With which collateral? I use the village house as a collateral. Hey. Baby, no now. Eh. That is risky. God forbid if this, all this plan of yours and even the business didn't work out. Ah, baby, I did told me, I have told you not to even try it. It's too risky. You know all these bank people, how they do. I understand your point. But the good news is that the bank gave me four years to return the loan. And I believe in God, before two years, I will clear up the loan. It's okay, mm -hmm. my love. We had working man, and my prayer is that God will bless you. Mm. God will multiply that money for you, so you pay them back. Mm? Mm. Mm. This way. Mm. <laughs> my husband has collected the loan of six point eight million naira. Are you serious? Yes. Babe, listen. Let me tell you. You better don't do here. Mm. Open your eyes well, well. When you get home, convince him to give you some money. Even if it's um, 1.2 million. Mm. Hold on. Um, Adako, yes, how many fish did that man deliver to us? Um, 24, ma. 24. Okay, fine. You know how to preserve it now, right? Yes, ma'am. Another thing is um, make sure you stock the fridge with enough drinks. My customers are coming today. No dumb moment. Please, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, please, give me one life. When you get home, make sure you convince him to spare some money for you, even if it's about one point two million, yes. so I can set up something. Yes. You, you see, this is my business. It's really moving. You can start something like this. Yes. A bar and restaurant are being yes, now. Yes. Let me have. And that thing is that you know, in this present condition of our my love. Honey. My heart beats. Baby. Baby, there is something I want to beg you. What is that? Just tell me. You know I can do anything for you. Oh. Yes, baby. Baby, please. I want you to give me 1.2 million naira from that 6.8 million naira loan you collected. Baby, I have told you to join my business. Let's do this show business together. Oh, baby. I believe we can do well. Baby, I want to start up my own business. I want to open a restaurant and bar now. I cannot do shoe business. Join me, baby. Don't tell me what to put the whole 6.8 million naira. Because from that will be one business. Yeah, I want us to do the business together. Oh, baby, no now, eh? All my friends have built their own separate business. But it's not like dead. that. They're not dead. Oh, baby, why are you like this? 
and it's like ask you who do it for me why are you like this now you just promised me that and i should ask that you do for me you know do, you don't want to do it for me i mean i cannot do that business i cannot sell shoe i don't want me to go and sell shoe in the market i cannot do that business you want me to go dark i cannot do that business now baby please now Married women need to be independent. Babe, you need to know how to strategy on how to make him drop that money. Yes, yes you need right. to. As a matter of fact, engage him in a fight when you get home. Eh? Yes, in wait. You mean I should fight my own husband? Hm. Fight with him. Let him bring the money. Hm. Wait. Do you think fighting with Silas will make him bring out that money? <laughs> and you, baby, let me tell you something. When you challenge a man, he will be forced to maintain peace in his home by bringing out the 1.2 million. Mm. Trust me on that. Hi. Okay. I will do as you say. Now you're talking. Silas. Let me thank God. Just sustain and obtain me shop at the hotel in the market. And my goods will be coming down this weekend. Hey! You got your soap? Yeah. Hey! Brother, <laughs> congratulations! Thank you. I'm very sweet. You go for your goods. Hey! Hey! Wait, wait, wait. Hey! Silas! Oh, you got a shop in Ochanja. You don't even get to tell your wife. Anyway, that one is by the way. But let me ask you, why did you hate me? Why did you vow not to give me even one couple from that 6.8 million naira? Why did you hate me, this man? Why? Don't worry. Don't worry what? Eh? Six dollars. Don't worry what? This is more You're a wicked man. You're a wicked man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, sit down. What's that? Why did you hate me? Why did you hate me? Eh? This is the good news, baby. Relax. Let me tell you, eh? If you dash up me, eh? <laughs> dash up me, eh? Mom will hear again, eh? But bear it in mind that behind any successful man, there's a woman. Everybody believes you buy Nagota. You may see again. You! Don't worry. We will nab. Sister, please stop. He just got this, so at least be happy for him. Here. Amy. Ruda. I'm happy for you. Run. Run. We all need love. We need love. Together. Together. To make life joyful. Oh, yeah. Because we are one. We all need love. Oh, Mary. Please come. I need to speak to you, Amanda. Ada? Yes. It's what you're doing. You need to do something. What do you need? Um. Some customers called to complain that some of you are not doing very well. So I decided it's high time, you know, I put some training in your bed. Now, when you want to serve a customer, learn to put up a smiling face. He doesn't bite to smile. Like you now, you have a very fine set of teeth. But you particularly, a, a customer complained that the other day, he tried touching you and you were quarreling with him. Why would you quarrel a customer? If they touch you and say, ha, baby, you're fine. After all, this thing is a free gift from God. You say, thank you, sir. It won't kill you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, Ada, you've always been a good girl, so eh, keep up the good work, okay? And always try to coach her. Try and put her through. No, she's new here. Okay, my place. Yeah. You can't do that to your business, please. What am I saying? Oh my God! Ochanda Market on fire! Jesus! Ochanda Market on fire! Hey! Ochanda Market is on fire! Just look at Hey! Ochanda Market! On fire! Is that where you're Oh my God! God! Jesus! No, let Jesus now call him! Call him! Hey! Wait, oh, come down and call him first. Call your husband first. Hey! Oh, oh, oh. Hey! Oh, oh, oh. 
Let's just wait for him. Oh, he's here. Brother? Did you know what happened to me? Baby, I'm finished. My shop got burnt. Hi! Everything go the warehouse. I could not even bring out the pin from the shop. I don't know where to start. I'm finished. Tell us, indeed you are finished. Say last, you are finished. You have bad luck. Hey, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Everything I married to you is problem upon problem. Every time I will cry and I don't want to have home. Oh God, I beg you. I beg you one point two million naira to start up my farm and start my business. Say last, you are finished. You refuse to give me 1.2 million naira out of whooping 6.8 million naira. Silas, you refuse to give it to me. You have lost everything. Eh? I didn't mean to open that restaurant now. At least we'll be feeding from here. What do you want us to do now? Answer me. Silas, you are wicked. Hey, what are you going to do now? God. <laughs> See, let me tell you, see, if you like, cry out the Lord. Hmm? If you like, die. I don't care. I won't even cry for you. I don't pity you. You deserve it. That shop that God wants, you deserve it. It's because of your wickedness. That's why that, that, don't tell me that. It's wicked. How did you get me that money? That shop will not get bought. You are serving your punishments. Thank God. It's God's book. No sense, man. Stupid man. Don't worry. I'll just slap you and come see you again. Stupid. Stop you. I told you. Friday or one day? Hey, sir. Hey. Okuba. Okuba. I got to go back now. No one million can I don't know. Echo! Any of them? Any of them? Any of Wipe your hand with us, no? Thank you. What's wrong? Lawrence Onyeji. Can I think I saw? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Je suis un peu plus de temps. Je suis un peu plus de temps. Je suis un peu plus 
Thank you. What's your name, sir? Silas Mbatu, sir. I'm sorry, Silas Mbatu is not on my list. Why his name is not included in my list? Silas, I'm going to One month now. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go if we're gonna have a on a Lana, man, do do register in the after. So I'm sorry, sir. I see my is not included in the list. Let's go now. Say, let's go. Back. Let's go. Jeanette, <laughs> oh. only you. Penance. Pray Hail Mary five times. I believe in God five times. Our Father five times. Okay. Out of contrition. Oh, Chukun Kim, Emery, my parents, no bim tamakan chum. Abram has no hard in chum. Keep on a different mocking. Up at the Sigomi case, then a bright star, Mamma's conjures up. Watch cook a self for my Mary, my very barren chum. Your penance. Again, my Hail Mary five times. Again, my stations of the cross. Again, me our Father five times. Or men keep me buried. Father, forgive me for I have sinned. This is my first confession for the past one month. But I have lied, I've committed adultery, committed fornication, I've done all kind of cheating in my business places. But Father, I want to be open with you. At this point in time, I want to commit suicide. Why would you want to commit suicide? Father, I'm tired of this life. I'm tired of living. Everything is not moving well for me. Father, I went to the bank. I collected a loan of 6,800,000 to import wheels and shoes. Father, I imported the shoes. They came in successfully. I was doing my business. I am one of the victims of Ochanja Market fire outbreak. Father, as I'm talking to you now, I'm not doing anything. My shop was burned. Because I have not registered with the union, my name was not among the people that they would compensate. So, as I'm talking to you now, Father, my wife is no more living with me. Nothing is going on. So I just decided to take my life. 
my son you cannot take the life that you can't give you can't no matter what you're passing through no matter the trials no matter the tribulations i want you to know that god is always with you he will never leave you neither will he forsake you he's always by your side to guide you to lead you and to direct you any time of trial is when god is testing our faith to know if we are still with him listen i want to tell you a story i want to tell you a story that will help you strengthen your faith i want to tell you a story that will help you stand firm in the things of god i want to tell you a story about a young girl called nene Take it easy so you don't break the plates. I will. Just 18 months from now, I will become a certified pharmacist. And wow, that will also be the beginning of my dream come true. Right? You see, I have a goal. That after the first four years of practicing pharmacy, I will raise up a foundation that will kick up a nationwide campaign to help raise education funds to help children on the street who are either abandoned or subjected to child abuse. I will also help those from financially marginalized families. You see, I believe that sound and compulsory education should be civil rewarded to every male and female children whose parents or guardians' income is not able to sustain their education. Yeah? I will call that foundation Hope for Children Living on Pain. Bravo. Um, I'm not disputing your dreams and aspirations. But the lady I'm seeing here has not paid her final year tuition fee. And I'm aware that daddy has not paid. I know what it means. You're spending extra 12 months in the University of Memphis. Daddy will pay. He will pay. Well, until daddy pays, then I can see your dreams coming true. service program. Okay. And uh, I would equally like him to get acquainted with my uncle's wife's younger sister by name Rita. Rita is a graduate of accountancy and she's working in Lagos with one big accounting firm in Lagos O and R accounting firm. You see, this is my problem with you women. You like taking your husbands for granted. And I, I don't know why. You make up your minds on a particular issue and then you find a very mild way of telling your husbands to know what they will say. That's insulting. Now that you have made up your mind on this particular issue and you are telling me, what do you expect for me to disagree with you? What's your problem? It's not what you think, baby. I mean, it's well. Please. And I will be visiting my uncle, Uncle Ray, this weekend. I would like Alex to go with me. And this Rita you're talking about will be there, I suppose? Yes. You, you, you see what I'm saying? It's exactly my point. You've already made up your mind on this particular issue. You're just telling me to fulfill all righteousness. Let me tell you something, my dear. I don't know this Rita, and I wouldn't want her to impose herself on my son by seducing him. Hey. Because I won't take it. 
Take the young man there. But please, allow him to make up his own mind himself. Please. Boil water so I can make tea for us. Make tea for breakfast? Yes, Daddy. Haven't you heard the saying, variety is the spice of life? Yes, I have. You have? And every other morning you serve tea for breakfast. Can't you think something else? Um, you've, you've never complained, so I. I I just thought I've never thought of um, change. For real? So, when you visit your boyfriend in his house and you spend the night there, in the morning, do you always wait for him to complain on everything before you take correction? Why are you moping at me as if I've asked the abominable? Or are you trying to claim you don't have a boyfriend or something? Daddy, I don't, I don't understand where all these questions are coming from. I need you to give me specific answer, my dear Nene. You don't have a boyfriend? Daddy, please, can I just... <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Oh, Daddy, 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 I'm not in pressure on my book tour. Is there any problem with that, my dear? You know, my dear, I have been asking God for this opportunity to tell you how I love you. Huh? Yeah. And uh, remember, we are alone in this house now. And this has provided me the opportunity to tell you how much I love you. Oh, how much I, I cherish you. Daddy, stop. Stop it, Daddy. Yes, I love you, but as my daddy, you shouldn't be saying this to me. Why? God, God forbid I have an affair with you, daddy. You know, my dear, it is so clear you don't know so much about God. He is a forgiving God. And he is not going to have any problem forgiving you if you allow me to do something. With you because you will really make do it, my dear. Oh, please, daddy. You, you know what? You know what? Just give me a glass of cold water, please. It's me. Daddy? Yes, I'm the one. I came in here this night to ask you some very specific questions and I will appreciate it if you give me specific answers. Have I not been wonderful to you as a father in this family? Yes, you have. Have I not been making huge sacrifices for you as a daughter? Yes, you have. And. Have I not been showing you so much love 
and so much care in this family, have I not? Daddy, you have. Why all these questions? Because I am doing everything humanly possible to understand why you are finding it difficult to give me this small pleasure that I demand of you. At least to show appreciation for what I have been doing for you. Daddy, I can't do it. No, of course you can. Definitely, I know you can. Daddy, 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 I can't. Daddy, Daddy, you leave me alone. Stop it. Why are you behaving like a child? Oh, come on, me if you don't stop. Daddy. I am not your daddy. How is everything? My dear, fine. Great. Well, you know they usually say that the night has taken the color, but not in this case. You are not visitors. You can go inside and eat something. <laughs> There's no problem. Uh, anyway, before I ask, what about Victor? Uh, Victor is fine. Mm. He sends his greetings. Praise God. Uh, Nene, she's doing well? Nene is good too. She's a big girl too. Very big. Very big. And um, I decided to tell her to stay back so she'll be able to take care of my husband. Ah, okay. mm. Very, very well. I'm sure that one day you're going to tell me that Nene is coming to marry. Who wouldn't want to have grandchildren? The in law. I'll tell you. There's, there's no problem. Okay. You have to go in. Right now. Uh, I'll go in and sleep now. Yeah, go and rest. You, you go and rest. rest. Okay. Mommy. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Okay. Let me discuss with your uncle, okay? Yes, mommy. All right. Alex is a big boy. Don't mind him. <laughs> I thank God. It's the Lord's doing. Let's not waste time. Have you talked to Rita? You trust me. I already spoke to her. I spoke to my wife. My wife spoke to her. And what was her reaction? Positive, of course. Oh, <laughs> oh thank God. <laughs> thank God. You know that Alice is still a small boy. But not minding the fact that he's still a small boy. Uh, I want him to get married, especially to that Rita. Hmm? It is already done. <laughs> and tomorrow, I want you to talk to him. As I know. You understand? Talk him into knowing that it is very important for this union to hold. Uh, Please. That is not a problem. I know it's my responsibility. I'm the man of the house. <laughs> and the big uncle. <laughs> uh, that should not be a problem. Uh, he respects and listens to me. That's why I That's said right. I must come and stay with you. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, no problem. Thank you. listening to me. Can you please open the door? There is something important I want us to discuss. Are you angry or what? 
Are you still burning on the account of nothing? That little, that little thing last night? It's nothing, my dear. Open the door. What's the matter with you? You must still keep me waiting. What's the problem with you? Can you just open this door, please? We can sort out whatever it is. Strange. I have never seen you smoking before. You are asking me that nonsense? I thought you were remain in your room. Why are you suddenly out? I was knocking on your door and you decided to keep quiet. Now you are here asking me nonsense. Do you know how much I pay as your fees abroad where you are attending your tertiary education? Not cities. $12,000 which amounts to 3800000 naira that I pay for one increase I don't even know her background. So when I'm just helping. And now I just made a small request from the same person I have been laboring over the years to raise. And she blatantly refused to agree. You know, I am smoking because I am excited. Excited in the sense that the money I borrowed to pay for your school fees is still intact with me. And sincerely, I am not going to pay. As you have decided not to give me what I want, I am not going to pay. And you are going to remain a half-educated woman. And half-education, they say, is very dangerous. Are you going to give me what I've been asking of you? You are still locking up. You are still locking up. You know what? My wife will soon come back and we're going to place you where you belong. Now, if you don't mind, get out of my side. Leave. Leave before I set you at least. And I mean every one of it. You are an ingrate. And as you leave, I want you to ponder over my request. Your education is very important. And I am not ready to invest one couple on you any further unless you give me that which I want. <laughs> uh, Alex. Yes, Uncle. Uh, I called you so that we can talk man to man. Uh, what I'm about to tell you now is something that even when you get to your father will tell you. If my father were alive, he would have also told you. <laughs> uh, Alex, I'm now a man. 
And there are certain responsibilities that we expect from a man once he has grown into a man. All these beards are not for decoration. <laughs> <laughs> All these muscles, they are not for decoration. That's okay. <laughs> uh, I know you know what I'm talking about. When a man grows up, he should take up the responsibility of marriage. Uh, but uncle, I'm still growing now. I'm not yet a man. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Uh, there is a stage, and you have reached that stage. What is left now? You have gone to school. You are serving your nation. In a small time now, the next thing you'll be looking for is wife. We want to save you that trouble of going around looking for women. Uh, it is time for you to take one. Ah, so <laughs> Right now, I don't have any girlfriend, though. <laughs> Alex, let me ask you a question. Uh, I know you like my wife because you call her Auntie Lovey Lovey. Yes, no, Auntie Lovey Lovey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. And you know that uh, if you look at me, you will not know that I am already 65. Ah, true. And I'm looking 45. <laughs> Until lovey lobby is the reason. And then you cannot be inside water and soap will be entering your eyes. I quite understand. Okay, good. Whatever comes from Auntie lovey lobby that you like, you will like it. Of course. Uh -huh. uh, you know Rita? Yes, yes. That's my wife's sister. Ah. Uh -huh. When she grows up, she will be like Auntie lovey lobby or maybe even more. Oh, Korea, I, I, I don't know where you're heading to. Alex, uh, I just want to orient your mind towards the fact that uh, you are already inside water. Use the water to wash off the soap from your eyes. Uh, yes. You don't have to worry. We've already spoken with Rita. Yes. Who will see a good-looking boy like you? from the stock of my sister and then we're not like to have a relationship with him. Uncle, but I'm still young to get married. Oh. <laughs> Alex, we're not talking about young, 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 young. If any woman meets with you inside this room and I lock you here, I know the next thing, the ni next nine months I'll hear is two. <laughs> Doing like if they put butter in your mouth, it will not melt. Alex, do it now, or somebody else will do it. Uncle, well, you know, marriage is a thing of love, mm -hmm. and love grows. And I've not met her, we're not in any relationship, yeah. so we still need to meet one another. Then we build up our relationship. Uh, if we love ourselves, then, then we know. Uh, I understand all the English you have spoken. I will make the arrangement for you to meet. Yes. And no, be rest assured that once you meet, it's only yours for the asking. It's only yours for the asking. Don't worry about that. You know, like I told you, I will not see something that is bad and I allow you to put your leg in it. Neither will I see something that is good and I allow you to walk past it. No. Alex, marriage made easy. <laughs> I will make the arrangement so that you can satisfy your curiosity. But don't let the curiosity kill the cat. <laughs> Alex, Alex. But their phone is not for decoration. <laughs> well, Rita, I noticed the way you were guessing at me last night. Hmm, stop that. You're the one who lost your attention on me, okay? Me? Lost my attention on you? Yes. No, I wasn't. You were. <laughs> well, if you say so, let me just become the gentleman. You look beautiful. And gorgeous. Thank you. Well, Rita, you know, 
sitting room is not the best place to discuss this kind of thing. Can we get to the back, Connie? Thanks, Yuri. Yes, come. Daddy? So you want to sleep with your daughter? Is that what you really want? I really want to know how you truly feel. I feel like an animal. I feel like a beast. A beast doesn't know sin. If I accept this, you know it will keep happening. And if I were caught by your wife, are you afraid it will cause problem for you? Saying, you know, I like what you are wearing because it is very clear to me that you have decided to give it to me and make it easier for me. You know, I don't even know why you are doing this because I am the one that pays your fees and I am willing to pay the fees, but. I am not going to pay until you give me what I want. The saying that has become popular all over the world is that people must have to use what they have to get what they want. I don't want you to disappoint me by giving me the impression that I have a daughter who cannot follow the popular trend by using what she has to get what she wants. I, I, I want you to Understand that education is key in life. Give me this simple thing that I ask of you and be sure that your future is guaranteed. <laughs> Come. Daddy. I have known you as my daddy. From childhood. I bear your name. I know my aspiration in life depends on my education, but not to the detriment of my own mother. What?
to commit this rape by extortion. What? I'd rather surrender my education and comfort. I will never succumb to you. I will never fall for your bleeding. You know, baby, my dear, I, I may have to stand up to explain this in a mild way for you to understand what I am saying, my dear. You are mine. And that which is mine is mine. Your mother, you are an ingrate, an idiot. Get out! Are you still watching? You're watching me. Do not cheat! Get out! Get out! Get out of my house! Get out! I'm not your mother. Mommy! Mommy! If you touch me! If you touch me! I was just calling to find out if you people arrived safely. Yes, we did. Uncle, it's today that I confirmed the full meaning of that adage that says that every disappointment is a blessing. Rosie, I don't understand. You will not understand, Uncle. If not because of the disappointment your wife gave us that prompted me to come back behind schedule, I wouldn't have seen the horrible in my house. The, uh, uh, Rosie, can you just please be straight? What is happening? Uncle, it's not something I will tell you on phone. We will see one on one. But just tell your wife that I am grateful for that disappointment. That I thank her so much. Extend my greetings to her. I will call you back. Uh, Rosie? 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 What could be happening? I don't know how else you want me to explain this before you understand it. Please. You are my wife. And you owe it as a duty to listen to me. We are not just in a relationship. We are married as man and wife. Why are you allowing our union to pass through this tension? Because of nonsense. Victor. Victor. So you call this nonsense? Victor sleeping with her own daughter. You call nonsense? Why are you allowing this to escalate, my dear? Why? Why? Please. Maybe... You are the one that caused what happened unconsciously. Yes. Because you are the one that allowed her to be wearing all these provocative things around this house. Not as not that if I I, I did anything, but it is very clear that she has been the one who has been planning to seduce me. And you know it was Victor, stop it! You know I know you too well, Victor. You know I know that it will be very difficult for you, Victor, to resist that girl. But I resisted her. Of course I did. Got you. Why are you doing this, my dear? Hmm. 
please. Leave me. You slept here. What did I tell you? Listen to me. Listen to me. Locate whoever you are ready to do this. If I should come back here and I meet you standing here, you're going to stay in your life. Now, if you know what is good for you, stay out of this job. Sister, she will come. No verse for me now, beg. Eh? Anyways, I'm going to the house. Eh? Where, where, Mara, where you want to go? Eh? I'm going to the house. Mara, no try. Eh? No try if you won't try. Make I give you information. You see police, you see army. Anything false, they are our house now. They wait for you. They don't say you will come today. If you come, they will catch you. Eh? No, no try, don't try, no try. Wait okay. that, please. What I will advise you now, eh? If in the next street now you go to sleep, go there go to sleep. It's okay. You know what? Just help me call Alex. Just help me. I need to speak to my brother. That's cool. Wait, you, that, that one. That one no one use eye or ear. Yes, say you die around there, self. You no one know where you did now. Hmm? Or if you self, you know what you know, do. Find money, find how to travel, come on for this place. Your papa and mama, they, I'm sorry, don't push you for house. Your madam and mother, they catch you. They go arrest you. I don't take my own. No. Hmm? As friend, where you will be, you understand? Okay, come, come. 
Jackson. Jack, can you help me go and cut my legs? <laughs> go and call my brother. I need to speak with my brother, please. Wait, go, I, go. I, cool down, madam. I never give you a finish. That one. That one is eyes. Ear. Hear you or see yourself. You there around. We need to talk about you. Alex, what no? They don't disown you. Those people don't tell them. Fine, fa go far. No near that place. And they beg you as friend with me, I be with you. You understand? I know that relationship I like I will beg. Eh? You know, say they give me food without our day house, man. I miss you well, alone. But no near that house now, as I tell you. You understand? Make a go uh, go and send me. Well done. Alex. You didn't give me feedback on the message I sent you. Okay, message. <laughs> I don't give her, I don't give her. At where? And she just called me, I give her and she just go. Wow, that's good. And she said what? She no man tell me anything though. She no man just tell me anything, just let the money they go like that. That's invest me. Now make my no reply to you back. Invest me where where. You gave my sister the money I gave you and she didn't send a feedback to me. Nothing, nothing, not tell me anything. Invest me where where. That's invest me, bros. Big up, small guy. Now invest me where. That's invest me. Not... Where's the money? Oga? Okay. As I give her the money, she go now. Kunle, huh? don't bless me. I know my sister. She cannot just come and take the money without giving a word for me. Where do you keep that money? Oh. Oh. Go and get that money for me. And what will tell you, if 1,000 miss from that money, I will deal with you. Be fast. No best for me, no best for me, no best for me, no for me. thank you. My sister needs this money. I know she must be suffering anywhere she is now. <laughs> hey, calm down. I'm not here to hurt you. Don't panic. I mean, it's late and you're the only one here. It's not safe. Okay, I just want to give you a ride to a safe place. Okay? My name is Martins. You know what? Let me give you this. I'm sure, you must be freaking cold. Like I said, I just want to help you. Yeah. I told you, I'm a friend. Trust me. Yes. You're cold. Let me give you this. To keep you warm. Don't just keep your eyes. Alright? So when I tried to explain to my foster mother, she refused to give me a listening ear. Rather, she accused me of having an affair with my dad. 
She sent me out of the house with nothing. And my school will resume 48 days from today. My dad sworn never to pay my tuition fees unless I have an affair with him. What about your family members or your family friends? We hardly go to the village. My parents' relatives that lived here in Pentagora City will never accept me in their home once my parents are not notified. This is very upbeating. So heartbroken. Why will your family treat you this bad after raising you from infancy? Why? Look, this is no time to blame my parents. Sis, please get something to eat. You are still a virgin. You are a true African woman, full of descent. I wish I had a bit of those qualities. You know, from the very moment you spoke your name, I knew you were beautiful, yeah. inside and out. Jeez, you are welcome. You will live with us as a family, okay? Nene, Nene. Sorry. Um, good morning. Matthias, good morning. Huh? Like your mind has been here all this while we've been talking. Joanne, she's in a pensive mood. Look, Nene, I don't want you to worry about where you stay, where you wear, where you eat, who you associate yourself with, or who you call family. Because from today, my sister and I are your family. Yes. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank Don't you. worry, okay? You will live with us as a family. Don't worry. my shirt back. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, okay. um, I don't know what I don't know if I should hug you. Oh, no, okay, so I'll just go change and get your clothes. <laughs> Gorgeous. 
So what do you refer to? Yes. Wow. Actually nice. Sure. Like it. <laughs> anyway. Thank you. to show to his ideal woman the way she understands his love for her. I want you to marry me. Just as a mother knows, a child so my love for you is through thick and thin. I'm glad I choose you. Always remember that. a big performance yesterday. Break a leg, darling. Thank you. But Ruby, you see, um, I'm not still convinced it's vital for me to go to my parents' house. They bluntly rejected me. It would be heartbroken if I'm chased out of the house again. Baby, listen, you don't have to worry. Stay here now, OK? But I insist we still continue with the visit. Alright? Ruby, tell her the surprise. Oh, I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, Congrats. Congrats. Thanks. So is the lucky guy, your fiance? ta -da. Your institution fee has been paid for. You were successful. Oh, you didn't have to. <laughs> you didn't have to, darling, okay? So you, baby. Take it. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. You love me, baby. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Thanks for giving me hope again. Don't worry. Love you too. Let's go. Wow! <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Thank you. No problem, darling. No problem. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, so should I... Should I just... Keep this up. Yeah, you can keep it. It's yours. You can. 
Maybe I should just leave it with you when I come back out. Oh, okay. I can do it very well. I'll keep it for you. Thank you. You're welcome, darling. Okay. Wow. Young man, I've heard you. And I think I know where you are going. Sincerely, I am glad that finally she met someone who loves her. But let me make something clear to you, my dear. I'm not happy with this girl. Because she planned to destroy my home and ruin my marriage. But that's the problem. Now that we have arrived here, to seek permission to pay her bride price. I wish to make something very clear to you that this is not the place you pay her bride price. I am not her father. And I don't even know who her father is. Sorry to interrupt you, sir. But I understand you raised her from infancy, given that she didn't know her parents. And since she doesn't know who her parents are, you guys in each other. So Please, sir and madam, I'm here to apologize on her behalf. What? She misses her family. Shut up! What do you know about uh, missing? Before I close my eyes and open them, let it be that both of you have left this parlor. Madam, no need to have all feelings of things that happened weeks ago. Didn't you hear what she said? Take your contraption and get out of this place immediately. Yeah. I'll do something stupid, though. Baby. Let's go. Get out! <laughs> Shameless fool. Okay, can, you, can you just get out of this place, please? University really left me when we graduated. And Janet left your memories too? Nope. Anyways, it was Solomon that gave me your number. Oh, you were not even with my number and you're here blaming me or not checking on your okay, this one. At least I made a move to get yours and I called. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my lovely brother. Ladies. Hi. Massens. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you too? Okay. Nice. Meet Jenna. My Hello. hostel mate. My Hi. final year. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. It's a lovely place. I'm Nene. His fiance. Nice meeting you too. Thank you. You look gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Martins. I feel a bit under the weather. Oh really? Since when? This morning, after taking my breakfast, I also felt cramp in my tummy. But that's not a problem. Take some food to visit the hospital. 
No, 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 you don't have to take that. Um, I have a modium tablet. It can relieve the cramping of your midriff within an hour and make you feel better at the moment. Let me just get it for you, okay? Oh, That's wow. my phone message. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! This is great, wow. So I'll just get it. Really? I'll see you girls. Thank you! As things started picking up for Nene, and at the verge of getting married to Martins, somebody told Martins fake news about Nene, and that marked the beginning of tribulations, trial, chaos in their home. Things turned upside down. There was trouble. The center was not holding anymore. She has gone. It is so depressing that after not seeing you with so much friendliness, Nene, you still smell us with so much humiliation. How could you? I took you like a sister, Nene. How could you, Nene? How? I'm confused. Huh? You were confused? Did you say you were confused? Never expect the same response from an insane person. Nothing. I took your pain and I made it mine. And this is what I get. Nothing. I was, I was mad. I was mad. You were mad. You were mad. You were mad. I mean, how am I supposed to believe all the stories you told me? Oh, that your parents have a and repented hatred towards you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I lost my sanity. This is a mistake. You know what the cruel thing was? I felt like the mistake was mine. For trusting you.
talk to me now. I'm your wife. What's the problem? You're making me worried. Talk to me now. What is the problem? Nene. Nene did what to you? You saw her? Eh? Nene is innocent. Nene is what? Victor. Oh my God. Victor. The Nene is what? Do you have this kind of bad Victor? Oh. Victor, you've killed me. You've killed me. No, 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 no.
is the cup. What? My daughter, what is the cup? Did you eat anything? Huh? Now what is it? What's the problem? <gasps> what? Huh? Daddy. Please what is it? <laughs> what is this? Nana? What is happening? What is happening? Hey! Oh! Daddy! <laughs> what is it? I'm finished! I'm finished! What kind of nonsense is this? What, I mean, what are we going to call this? So, you are asking me what we will call it, Victor? Hey, hey Alex, can you can you can you figure out what you could have taken? That you are asking me. What is this now? Yeah, Mr. Victor, can I see more of this? Hey, please, doctor, I I don't have the time for that kind of comfort. Please talk to me here. How is my daughter? Please. She's fine. Thank God, thank God. Can I see her now? Sir, were you aware that uh, she's mentally ill? <laughs> no, 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 no. Mentally My ill. daughter, no, no, no. No? Daughter. My daughter is sane. As in, she's very sane. She had a neurological disorder. <laughs> in fact, uh, she was diagnosed of uh, uh, phototemporal dementia. Dementia? <laughs> Wait, doctor. Is it Manata that is suffering from all these things you are listing? That's what the test said. My daughter cannot be married. In fact, she tried committing suicide by taking some later drugs. No! No! Why? Why? No, 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 no. Uh, 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 can I, can I see? Excuse me, doctor. You're Okay, excuse me. I'll be right back. Oh, Victor, you've killed me! <laughs> what, what are we going to call this? She want to oh, God, God, please help me. Oh. God, please send my daughter for me. Help me, help me. Oh. Help me. Oh. Help me. Oh. Help me. Can I see her now, please? Be a man. In fact, I must have. Why I have to tell you this story is to encourage you to be strong because there is nothing too difficult for God to do. God is greater than our problems. God is mightier than our problems. God is bigger than our problems. He's an everlasting God. And the Bible says, is there anything too difficult for God to do? And as long as there is nothing too difficult for God to do, God is still God. God is still in charge. Your situation is not too difficult for God to handle. All what God needs from you at this point in time is your commitment with Him, your relationship with Him. And that is why the Bible says in the book of Hebrews that faith is the assurance of things we've not seen yet we believe. So you have to have faith in God. You have to believe God. You have to pray day in and day out. You have to fast. You have to remind God of His promises because he is the God that we serve, the God that has ears, and he can hear our supplications. It's not like the idols, the idol worshippers that worship the idols that have eyes, but they cannot see. You are not serving the idols that have legs, but they cannot move. You are not serving the idols that have ears, but they cannot hear. But you are serving a living God that has ears that can hear your supplications. The God that can touch you and move you out of that bondage, out of that trials. All you need to do right now is to hold firm unto the word of God and believe in. Pray day in, day night believe in him do not lose hope the point to lose hope in god is when you start to fail believe in him believe in the word of god fast and pray do not give up on god because god is at the point of blessing you our god is a god of 11 38 ah, learn to hold firm unto him at this point i i think i need to guide you spiritually I want you to stay with me in the parish house. I need to follow you up spiritually. I need to guide you. 
because what you need right now is a close relationship with God so you don't deviate from the things of God so you don't go and do something stupid are you with me that committing suicide is the last option are you with me you send um, my regards to your family welcome from before I forget that parcel of land you talked about Okay. When I, I would like to pray in that land before you start building. Yeah, Father, I need it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, need it. I don't want to just jump into the land and start building. No, I need to. I, I need to come there. I need to sprinkle the holy water there. Okay. I need to take charge okay. before I start laying foundation. Okay, Father. Yeah, whatever you have to do, you need a spiritual guidance before you do anything. Okay, Father. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Father. Uh, I came to thank you for the last prayer you have prayed for me. If I went to America to do my business, but Father, I must testify my business went well. So that is why I came to appreciate God for the prayer you have prayed for me. So I came to present this car for you. Oh, wow! <laughs> Lexus 350 <laughs> Ah! Chief Give me your hands May God Almighty bless you Amen this day, I pray that God Almighty will shower you with the blessings. Wherever you get money to purchase this as a gift for me, I pray to God Almighty that shall be replenished in Jesus' name. Amen. You shall never lack. Amen. You shall go and come back safely in anything you do in life. Amen. Abundance. Will always be around you, with you, all the things of your life. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 In the name of God, Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. <laughs> wow. Great. This is great. Um, Chief. Yes, Father. I. Let me say thank you. Welcome. You are one of the greatest um, philanthropists we have in this church. Okay. You've done marvelously well for this church. I remember vividly when we were building this structure. You contributed massively. I want to say thank you very much. Welcome, Father. Chief, there is a help I need from you. There is a parishioner that has been with me for a couple of months now. He was involved in this um, recent Bachanja fire infirmary. Since then, he lost everything he had. His business, his money, his warehouse, or rather the call it packing shop. He lost everything. I want to beg you, I want to know if there is a way you can be of help, assist him financially, so he can start up again. Because everything about young man's affecting me. I want to see him happy again. I want to see him stand up straight again and start doing better. So remember, what I'm asking you is to know if you have a team of help assisting him and to keep up with him. Please, can you call the boy? Call okay. him. Yeah, hello, Tyler. Uh, please, can you come out? Outside the gate. So, how is family? Family is fine. Everybody is fine. Okay. Okay. Um, you told me about this uh, one of your boys that uh, that you want to send to. Yeah. By the special grace of God, we have to. Oh, what about you? Very nice. How are you? We said something. Hey. Mm -hmm. 
That is why I will give you 8 million naira. You welcome, boys. You welcome. Thank God, bro. It's just okay. It's okay, Taylor. It's okay. I'm coming. Million naira. Chief, I am good. You're welcome. May God bless you. Amen. Father. Uh, Silas, can I have you later? Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I appreciate you. May God bless you. Really. It is well with you. Mm -hmm. It is well with you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Your thanks will never run dry. Mm -hmm. Ah, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, bye bye. Silas, father, I know you're happy now. More than happy, father. Sure. I'm very happy. Um, he gave me this car as a gift. Sincerely, I don't know what to do with it because um, I have three already in the parish house. I'm handing over the key to you. Jesus Take Christ. the car, add it to the check. He gave wow, me. father. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> this car. Plus the seat. So, you can get inside of the car. Thank you. Enjoy it. Place. It's okay. Hey. Brother, you've not told me the truth, though. <laughs> no, seriously, but I look at you. Okay. For days now, I've been coming to the house. But I've not set my eyes on you. See you now. Look at all these changes. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I told me. My dear, there is no problem. As you can see, it's a very long story, but God is great. Long story. Yeah. Brother. Hey, I thank God. Hmm. Yeah. Mubada, this is why you're taking me out today. Hmm. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> Because no I will fix my test. No problem. Right. Anyway, thank God. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, mm. there is this chief. Babe, I want no. to hook you up with him. When I say chief, I mean the likes of those that do drive these um, Lexus 350. 
Are you like serious? Yes, so. <laughs> Babe, mm-hmm. this chief set his eyes on this is your body. Hey! Um, mm. Don't that? talk too much. There's no way you no want me over and over again. So please put that chip on. Oh, where is my phone? Uh, Come yeah. here. Get on my other. Wait, yes, yes. There's a problem. What is it? Silas. What's not going to I'm married to you now. What's not married? When you have Silas. Babe, I'm talking about chiefs. I'm going to attack content and building material. I'm going to attack Silas. I'm going to attack Silas. Say la shop ya boko na ndo no chanja. Kai. Na ya di kolebu sa mukiyo kwa bi kwa kagi. Baby yako. Baby the ginger. Baby fire. Any time to fuck up eh. Ginger me. Be fun ko. Ginger. That is why I'm here. We are so loaded. What kind of devil is this? Eh? Any time I want to be happy. This is why no can be happy. I bruise on the wet swap. Baby, I'm from you. Okay, so. It's a big as you bone you. Snow queer. Snow queer. Make sure you look at the drug. Look at the boss way. You look at the cold. Borrow, borrow, make money. You can say that again. Can't squad you before I broke and squad you now. And the man. I'm going to go second half. And they go to change it. Yeah. <laughs> Silas, what are you going to change it? Silas, because I'm going to get a lot of money. What are you going to do? Ah, ah. I'm not going to get a lot of money. No, I'm not going to get a lot of money. I'm not going to get a lot of money. Excuse me. I'm not going to get a lot of money. I'm not going to get a lot of money. Hey, 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 Bikiwe o kwana gi o. I'm very sorry. We feeling ni na kuleba. Emi no homia. I'm sorry o. Enji be mu queen. God is ya o. Mu cha. Hey, say So why do you run? I'm going to go my real cash. We all need love. Stand together. Make life joyful. Oh yeah. Hey, 